Hello, my name is Eric Klon. I'm the city engineer with the city of Prineville. And today I'd like to talk to you about a fun project we have in front of us. So recently the city of Prineville and Crook County have teamed up on what we're calling the Prineville Renewable Energy Project or PREP. So what is PREP? PREP is a 20 megawatt power plant that uses biomass as its fuel. What is biomass? Biomass is all of the debris in our forests. Biomass could be wheat stubble. Biomass could be almond shells. So we all know a forest just naturally creates woody debris. You know, trees grow, trees die, they fall on the ground. If we control forest fires like we have for the last 150 years, that woody debris builds up and then we get these monstrous fires that really no one wants. What this project allows us to do is generate jobs and energy from that woody debris. Why not create jobs? Why not pick that material up? bring it into a structure where we can control the pollution and generate power and jobs. We burn all of that debris in a confined environment with electric static scrubbers and 99.9% .9 of the PM10 and the PM2.5, those little debris in the smoke that makes people sick, we can remove. Well, the beauty of biomass is we're creating baseload renewable power so that's power 24 hours a day. So a 20 megawatt biomass facility would have 10 full-time people operating it. But more importantly, it would support 100 people going out to the forests, cleaning the forests, and bringing that material back to our community. I'm Casey Kaiser, senior planner with the city of Primeville. And one of the exciting things that this project brings to the table is it helps us solve a challenge that we've had for a long time with managing our forests with modern fire suppression techniques. One thing that's happened is we've seen a lot of buildup of these finer fuels, smaller trees, and what happens is when fires burn through the forest and there's a lot of woody debris on the ground, dead fuels and smaller trees as the fires burn much hotter. And when they burn hot, they burn to a temperature that actually can affect the health of the larger trees. So one of the exciting things about the PrEP project is the opportunity to create a demand for those finer fuels and give us the ability to be able to do um, manage our forests in a way similar to the way nature managed it prior to the intervention of, of us a long time ago. One of the really exciting things about this project is 20 megawatts of power that would be generated from this project is roughly equivalent to the amount of power that it takes to power 10,000 homes. To fund the project, we were able to secure a $250,000 grant from the U.S. Forest Service and their Wood Innovations Fund. To match that grant, we were able to secure a $150,000 grant from Energy Trust. So right now, no taxpayer dollars are being expended on this project. Why are we doing this? We're doing this for our environment. We need to get out and clean up the forests. We, we're doing this for carbon sequestration. A healthy forest will secure, sequester significantly more carbon than an unhealthy forest and then jobs. It's what we're all about and that's why the city and county are moving forward with PREP, the Prineville Renewable Energy Project.